You're gonna get on the rock next time. Do it. All right. Do it. I'm gonna smash your head in the rock. You ain't strong enough to do. Do it. You and your 145 pounds is gonna do what to me? In the wild. Half of all life and death survival situations involve complete strangers. To make it out alive, Pull me up. splitting up is the worst thing you can do. In this series, that's not an option. Cozy, right? Two strangers with nothing in common. We're pretty contrasting people. See if we can make it work. Will be left in the wilderness to test their will to survive. Tethered by a six foot cable and forced to work together to reach rescue. Can they survive the elements? Can they survive each other? This is a survival challenge like no other. Send me home. Come on! Someone take this off! It's gonna be my way or the highway. If you can't deal with it my way, then we're gonna pull you straight through the jungle. My name's Keith Barton, and I'm 43 years old. I served eight tours in Iraq in the US Navy. This is important to me because I have four kids, and being able to survive out here, it's gonna really show my kids that I can survive anywhere. The last person I'd wanna be tethered with would be somebody that was completely lazy. They pissed me off more than anything. Ever since I was a child, I've been instilled with a spirituality and that we are all energy and we're all vibration and we're all one. My name is Willow John Colomer. I'm 36 and I'm a server, a world traveler, a reverend, and I live on a sailboat in Morro Bay, California. I would say my yoga and meditation and general overall adventuring skills are gonna come in very handy out here. Keith and Willow are being dropped in the middle of a desolate archipelago on Panama's Pacific coast. They will have 10 days to cross punishing terrain, endure extreme conditions, to reach rescue, all while locked together by a six-foot tether. I see this boat come around the back side of the island, and I see this bright pink shirt. Man comes this weird-looking tattooed eyeliner, feather in his hair. I didn't know who the hell I was getting tethered to. Let's get this show on the road. We got a long way to go. The person on the island, this guy's definitely army type, is wearing camouflage, so he is nothing like me. Keith. What's up, Willow? From Utah. From uh, right now, Morro Bay, California. Let's get this put on. All right. Once Keith and Willow lock their tether in place, they won't be unlocked until they reach rescue in 10 days. That's it. Say goodbye to freedom. What we got in here, huh? Let's take and put this over here. Left at the drop site is a basic map and a crate of survival supplies. Their first test, selecting only three items. We put it out on the rock so we can really get a look at everything. Just I mean, twine's going to be great to have. This will be key. I know? can make twine. But it's a waste of time. And we're both on with a knife. Yeah. One knife for machete. Let's see which one's better. I would say this one. This one's a lot longer. I'm not too worried about it this being sharp. This one's got a nice saw, though, too. That's yeah, all going to come in handy. No. Uh, I would say this not one. Not at all. I'd go with this one, man. It's stainless. It's got the saw, and it's got a long, pointy tip. This is the one I'm one. picking. We ended up deciding, well, I guess I ended up deciding on taking the machete and then just holding that's what I'm taking, so. <laughs> this flint and the steel's perfect. So we got flint, we got a pot, and we got a knife. So swimming with a tether is the first challenge. I don't like being this deep. Nope. Bull sharks, white tip sharks, maybe some mancos, some hammerheads. No, I'm a hammering with this bucket. So, if you come close you know, to me, you're gonna get a pan in the head. Just be aware. Oh man, I'm getting tired. Just try to not talk some more. Just make a push. This rope's gonna be a pain. Oh, we got about six feet. Once you get, a, you feel a tug on your belt, just stop. All right. The size of that tree. Look how old that is. Cut that down and make me a house with that old. It's a beautiful tree. Thanks for all the food and oxygen and building materials. Some Those people, I swear. Fruit. And he kissed you. I hope you gave him a disease. Whoa, whoa! 
Nope, nope, don't, don't, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, slowly. Let's go see if we can find us a clear area over here so we can make a shelter. I would say we go right in the middle here. Make posts and keep ourselves off the ground a couple feet and do a half, halfway decent roof. That's a lot of work, man. We ain't got a lot of time. Let's do it. I got a background in construction, and I like to know what somebody can do. If he can pull off this shelter, I'll be impressed. <sighs> Keith and I, we're pretty contrasting people. We'll see what happens, you know? See if we can make it work. I know you're in a hurry. You, you got that? I got him. I hate being tethered. We're pulling on each other. Watch out for the wood. You're walking right over that wood. You know, going too far forward, you're pulling the person forward. So not only are your nerves and everything getting shot, but you're trying to figure out how to cooperate and work together. <sighs> Boom. There we go. Sit on that end. So we're losing light real quick here. We probably got about maybe two hours left. Um, so my, my idea is to build a fire, get a little light from the fire, and then continue building the shelter. You're getting something. Not quite. Nope, keep going. Here, let me try. Almost. There you go. Roll that over. Roll that over. Nice. Oh, you're on it. Man, really? So definitely day two here is a new beginning, you know? We were greeted by a beautiful sunrise, and there's a couple of positives. Thank you, nature, and thank you, the spirits, for at least giving us that cover, you know? In survival situations, it's very helpful to remain calm, so I do yoga and meditate a lot. Having this tether on is a pain in the ass. I would equate it to be married to the worst woman you could ever think of. We got a pretty good area to where we could get some good green coconuts that have some pretty decent fresh water in it. Let's drink it, man. Watch your fingers. I tell you like I can tell my kids, cut away from your fingers. I'll use it as a saw, use it as a hacker. Yeah, it works better when you cut the fiber, actually. All right, Superman. You spill it all over yourself, bastard? Oh, you're a bastard. He's a freaking weird as all hell. Something that we can keep our hydration up. But coconuts aren't going to sustain you, so we want to go out and get in these tide pools and find something to eat. These crabs that are running around, the pinchers on them are really good, so we can pinch those off and throw those into the pot. Look at this big guy. So we got to get a fire made. There we go, there we go, there we go. You got it? Yeah. You know, these guys kind of remind me of myself. They just put their put their home on their back, and they take off. You're going to make me look, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> this is not a very humane way of doing it, you know? Should we kill him nope. first? Because it's kind of sad. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to be out better like that. It may be sad for you, but you're going to eat him. Yeah, but I don't like to see him suffer. It seems like, you know, Willow's not cut out to be doing this. And I'm going to kill it, eat it, and let's freaking survive. There, there's no reason why I should be taking care of another man in a survival situation. He should be able to pull his own weight. So Willow's a weakling. Mmm, squishy juice. I say you take that one right there and put it across right here. So I do think that the structure we had on the beach was a good idea to keep us up elevated off the ground. And I figured we'd continue building the shelter that we had already halfway finished last night because we already had four posts going. I don't know, man. Look at this. High tide. It's up here further than it was last night. I think we're going to have to move a little higher up. We don't have time. I want to get a shelter built, you know? We already started building it. We're going to just take off. Look at this tide. It's coming in. We're going to get washed out. I'm going to jump in the water, dude. No. I'm going swimming. Well, we're going to get our tent shelter done. It's going to take me about 60 seconds. So you want to fight me, you can fight me. But we're going. I'm going swimming. I'm serious right now. Let's oh. go. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Mm. Go up and build a shelter. You understand me? No, nope, I'm not. You're going to go build a shelter. You're going to eat this dirt. And you're just going to sleep in these sand fleas again tonight. No. Nope. Tired of this. No. Nope. Let's get this done. No. Nope. Get up. I'm definitely going in the water now. I'm covered with. Now you gotta get into your. Yes, that's just the way it is. Both had different opinions. I thought that after last night, I've been up 24 hours. He's been up 24 hours. 
Yeah, you know, we should have a place to sleep. We got into a little bit of confrontation. We both got dirty, so we both had to go in the water. He got his way. I apologize for throwing you to the ground, man. That's cool, man. Two people that have to survive shouldn't be fighting. Yeah. Looks like we might be coming up on a clearing. Up to the left, it looks like. This is a nice clear area right here, man. I think this would be perfect. We're going to build a nice little lean-to shelter. Hold on, let me get through this tree so we can work together. I mean, just stash them five inches up. They don't have to be super tight, but they have to hold it. It takes everything I have as a human being not to rip this belt off in the middle of the night and say, this, I'm done with this. It just sucks. I am love, I am light. I am love, I am light. If you come over here, I can do one where I can do my back. You, or if you wait, I can do it later, that's fine. We're gonna have to make, give or take, five miles a day, depending on hydration and everything else. So it's gonna be a trek. We got a long way to go, and we would like to push through, but we also know that the amount of food that we're finding and the amount of water that we have, it would take a lot more to make it anywhere in a day or two. Hungry, man. My stomach hurts. Between camping and hiking, five miles a day, we're both starving. Oh, I'm stuck. Ugh. You all right? Yeah, there's stupid vines everywhere. My babies, I love you with all of my heart. You guys are freaking the, the ones I'm doing this for. All right, man, yeah. ease up, all right? Pull me into the rocks. We got a six-foot tether between us, you man. Get thrown the You're going to get on the do rock it. next time. Do it, all right? Do it. Do it. You and your 145 pounds is going to do what to me? I want to smash your head in the rock. That's what I'm going to do. You Mr. Oh. Tough right, guy? Go ahead, do it. He got the to do it. You know, he insulted me, called me a Kind of pisses me off, you know? I haven't seen nothing that's edible. Oh, look at this, man. That's a boa, dude. Be very, very, very careful. I'm hungry. Did he get his head? Watch out, watch out. Here, hold on, he's a stick. Right there, stop, right there, slowly. Whoa, whoa! Thank you, little buddy. I'm sorry we're gonna have to kill you because I need to eat. So I said thank you for the life you're gonna give us, and I cut off its head. Tarzan style. <laughs> he likes to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> we got a fire now. Nice. My spirits are up. That's good, man. That's amazing. Wow. Num, num, num. I'd say it kind of tastes like chicken, but it tastes like steak. This is life! <laughs> Eating that snake, my energy and morale just basically shot through the roof. Whoa. You all right? Swash a little. Had a big sore from it just rubbing on it. Why don't we go ahead and put a couple leaves in there at least? All these freaking bites are just driving me crazy. It's just rubbed and rubbed and rubbed, and I got a nice little sore right there now. Yeah, put these in there and put your sock back on. You all right? Yep. I was very concerned about my partner, Keith. He's having a difficult time. All right, why don't we just shave? Lay down for a yeah, lay down five minutes. You can lay down. I'm gonna start chopping these palm fronds. I used to say, my partner is just a pansy. I'll admit to you right now, I'm just one of them pansies because it is not easy. I mean, my legs are just all eat up. I'm freaking losing my mind. Done being stinky. Done. Unbelievable. 
You know, I've been to many countries and, and done many tours in the military, but I think this is the worst I've ever been. I, I can't survive out here. I'm not the man that I thought I was. Dude, I gotta take no, Too close to camp. Yeah. Don't poop on yourself. Now, how many people stand next to somebody when they're taking Ooh, that's sneaky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. Now the birds are singing, so that means the sun must be coming up soon. I could have been at home with my family right now. It's, uh, I tried it, and I failed it. That would suck. We're so close to extraction. What would make them uh, look at you different if you came back quitting or you came back passing? In the middle of the night last night, I wanted to quit. Gorgeous. But after seeing the sun come up, I knew that I had to stay. I knew that was in me. And I didn't want to go home and tell my kids I was a quitter. I did not want to say daddy walked away from something. Because I tell my kids when you start something, you'll finish it. And I can do it for them. You get ready to get the hell out of here? Hey, Steve here. Watch yourself. A little slippery. Like that. Watch out, watch out, Branch. Whoa! I got you, I got you. There's one good thing about this tether, man, is it's freaking holding us to where we it only got a certain It keeps us spot. together. It's like I'm rock climbing. Kay. I can get up here. There's a hole right here. <sighs> okay. Holy <laughs> That's a bull hole right there. Hell yeah. That's freaking awesome. We're we going on three or one, two? I say one, two, three, then jump. One, two, three. <laughs> Made it, brother. Hell yeah. Nice job. Look, look. Hey! Hey, hey over oh, here! Get us oh. off of this place! Where's he going? No, come on! Back here! I don't know if we can hear us from here, man. Here that was go. the boat. It was a boat. I don't know if it was the boat. Look, look. Oh, he's back. Woo! All right, he's stopping, he's stopping. Let's get down there, man. Oh, man. Bienvenidos. Hey, my friend. Oh, gracias. <laughs> oh, my friend, I love you. Oh, my God. Hey, uh, muchas gracias, my friend. Yes, thank you, man. Woo-hoo! What about me? Yeah, I'm free. I'm free. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Woo! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look, I can get seven feet away from him. Look at that! Oh my god, it's amazing! I feel like a new man! <laughs> One, One, two, two three. Bye bye, Tether. The Tether's good for two things to make you hate it and to save your life. We've taken care of each other whenever we've been sick. We've taken care of each other when we're pissed off at each other and cussing at each other. And man, Wolves become my friend. I like this guy, Keith. He's going to be a friend of mine forever. And I think I kind of cracked the hard shell that Keith has. He's a tender, big love and heart. And he loves his family. And he loves life just like anybody else does. You know, maybe we'll see him wearing some eyeliner, dancing around in the future. You never know. It is very surreal being back home. Still now, I, I look for Willow. Oh, yeah. Looking back after the experience, I'm really stoked that I got put with Keith because he's a fun guy. He's a he's got a great spirit. He's intelligent. I don't think I'll ever be the same since tethered. It was amazing.